What Jeff Burton just said is a huge wake-up call for Rick Hendrick's Hendrick Motorsports crew. We have the inside scoop on why this renowned squad will face significant hurdles in the 2023 season. Why are Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, and the rest of the gang struggling to win? And will they be able to turn things around before the playoffs? Join us in today's video as the season heats up and Jeff Burton's wake-up call sends shockwaves through the NASCAR world. But before that, please subscribe to our channel and hit that like button for more whereabouts on NASCAR. You know, when we talk about NASCAR teams, Hendrick Motorsports is right up there with the best of the best. They're like the Mercedes F1 team during their glory days, total legends. But we gotta say, this 2023 Cup season hasn't been their finest hour. Now, don't get us wrong, they've got some strong contenders. Kyle Larson and William Byron made it to the playoffs, which is pretty awesome. But Alex Bowman and Chase Elliott haven't been as lucky, unfortunately. And you won't believe it, but former NASCAR driver Jeff Burton recently had a thing or two to say about this situation. He issued a serious wake-up call to Rick Hendrick and his team. So what's the deal? What could Hendrick Motorsports improve on? According to Burton, it's not like Chase Elliott had a good weekend. He finished 13th overall but 4th in the first stage. If they're going to give it to him and have those kinds of activities, he might be able to make it. But he'll need to have them all in front of him. Give him those kinds of weekends every few weeks, and I don't think it'll happen. I believe he received as much as he could have this weekend if they had run better, which they did not. You know, the Richmond weekend was a real struggle for many drivers. The scorching hot weather made it uncomfortable for everyone. Even Martin Truex Jr. from Joe Gibbs Racing had a hard time, but that's a whole different story. And speaking of Richmond, it wasn't a shining moment for Hendrick Motorsports either. The best they could do was Elliott's 13th place finish. As for the rest of the crew, Alex Bowman, Kyle Larson, and William Byron ended up in 18th, 19th, and 21st places, respectively. Ouch. Man, Jeff Burton didn't hold back, did he? He continued. They could have taken much better advantage of it and gotten in better shape. The problem is that I don't see them being able to take advantage right now. They just don't have the speed. I'm not sure why. It perplexes me. Every team goes through this phase where they aren't as good as they aspire to be. William Byron isn't exactly running the way he used to. Kyle Larson also did not run well this weekend. I have numerous concerns, the first of which is the injury and suspension that disrupted their rhythm and harmed their ability to build on something. They simply do not have the speed, and the only reason they gained ground this week was not due to their efforts. More of their competitors' terrible performance. The Hendrick Motorsports team has had a rough season, no doubt about it. They faced quite a few nightmares along the way. First, there were injuries to both Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman. Luckily, not at the same time. Then, Elliott got himself in more trouble with that one race suspension for deliberately colliding with Denny Hamlin from Joe Gibbs Racing. With all these setbacks, Chase Elliott is now in a tricky spot. He's missed quite a few races due to injuries and suspension, and time is running out for him to secure a race win and qualify for the playoffs. Alex Bowman is in a similar boat with some missed races due to injuries as well. You can imagine how worried Rick Hendrick, the team owner, must be. He surely wants all his drivers to make it to the playoffs and give their best shot at the championship. Let's see if Hendrick Motorsports can overcome these hurdles and get back on track. The competition in NASCAR is fierce, but they've got the talent and experience to turn things around. Fingers crossed for a strong comeback. But who will take the chance if not Hendrick Motorsports? Let's take a look at who is in the bubble. The excitement is building up as we get closer to the NASCAR Cup Series postseason. Only four races left before the playoffs kick off on September 3rd at Darlington Raceway. And guess what? There are still some playoff berths up for grabs. Out of the 16 spots available in the playoffs, 12 have already been claimed after the race at Richmond Raceway last Sunday. So that means there are four spots left, and winless drivers only have four chances to secure their place in the playoffs. It's a real win-and-you're-in situation right now. But wait, there's more! Drivers can still point their way into the playoffs if there are repeat winners in the next four weeks. If fewer than 16 drivers manage to grab a win this season, then the remaining playoff berths will go to the top winless drivers with the most points in the standings. So it's all about those points, too. And hey, did you know that some of these drivers are not new to winning championships? Yep, Truex got his title in 2017, while Bush took it home in 2015 and 2019. Larson, on the other hand, became the champ in 2021, and Logano had his share of glory in 2018 and 2022. These guys sure know how to race and bring home those championships. Alright, let's take a look at some drivers who haven't managed to snag a win in 2023, but they're still in a pretty comfortable position in the point standings. These guys are likely to make it to the playoffs based on their points, unless we see more than two new winners in the last four races. First up, we've got Kevin Harvick from Stuart Haas Racing. He's a legend and the 2014 champion, and he's already announced that he'll be retiring from full-time racing at the end of this season. Despite not having a win yet, 
Harvick is sitting pretty in 6th place in the regular season standings, with 634 points and 1 playoff point. And get this, he's a solid 182 points above the cut line, which means he's got a good cushion to make it to the playoffs. Next on the list is Brad Keselowski from Roosh Fenway Keselowski Racing. He's the 2012 champion and has been seeing his teammate Chris Buescher lock in a playoff berth after the race at Richmond. But don't worry, Keselowski is doing just fine too. He's currently in 11th place in the regular season standings with 603 points and 3 playoff points. He's 151 points above the cut line, so he's also looking good to secure his spot in the playoffs. These drivers might not have a win under their belt this season, but they're holding their own with solid points and a good chance to make it to the playoffs. Let's see how the remaining races play out for them in the rest of the field. These drivers are on the playoff bubble, and while they haven't clinched a win this season, there's a good chance that two of them could make it to the playoffs based on points, if we don't see any new winners in the last four races. Starting with Bubba Wallace from 2311 Racing, he's sitting in 15th place with 506 points, 54 points above the cut line. With his strong performances in the last two seasons, he's in prime position to secure his first ever playoff berth. Next up is Michael McDowell from Front Row Motorsports. He's in 16th place with 470 points, 18 points above the cut line. McDowell has a special connection with the regular season finale at Daytona International Speedway, having won the 2021 Daytona 500 and notched three top five finishes at that track. Ty Gibbs from Joe Gibbs Racing is in 17th place with 452 points, just 18 points below the cut line. As the top rookie this season, he's been making waves, and even though he's a bit behind, he has the potential to make it to the playoffs. Now, here's a seasoned driver, AJ Allmendinger from Caldig Racing. He's in 18th place with 448 points, sitting 22 points below the cut line. The interesting thing is that Allmendinger is a road course ace and has won at two of the next four tracks. Indianapolis and Watkins Glen. That could give him a good shot at capturing one of the remaining races. Daniel Suarez from Trackhouse Racing is in 19th place with 436 points, 34 points below the cut line. He made it to the playoffs last season with a Cup Series win on a road course at Sonoma in 2022. He's definitely got some skills to show. Now, this might surprise you, but the 2020 champion Chase Elliott from Hendrick Motorsports is currently in 20th place with 430 points and 40 points below the cut line. Keep in mind that he missed seven races this season, six due to injury and one due to a suspension. The most popular driver in NASCAR has a bit of a challenge ahead, but he's still in the game. Lastly, Alex Bowman, also from Hendrick Motorsports, is in 21st place with 428 points and 42 points below the cut line. He missed three races due to injury, but he's been a playoff driver for the past five years, so he's definitely got the experience and determination to try and make it to the playoffs. It's a real challenge for these drivers, but anything can happen in NASCAR and a win could be a game changer for their playoff aspirations. Let's see who will rise to the occasion and punch their ticket to the playoffs with a clutch victory. So that's all we've got for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think of the video in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in the upcoming video.